Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a yoga, I'm a wise clown, I'm an empath. It's all kinds of different words for me. I need to get really too caught up on definitions. I just share daily on uh, how I see things. I got real tired of how people told me the, how the world was, so I freaking stopped believing them because what they said and what I saw the world to be were not <laughs> lining up. What happened was, after doing this for years and years, you know, going to college, and spending some time in the Air Force, I did all this stuff later, you know, I didn't do it out of 18, out of, out of high school, I did it later, you know, I had my own sense about how things were before I went in and, 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 and uh, give you a little example, when I was in basic training, MITs, I'm like, we're really spending three hours on how to you know, make a bed. It seems like there's there's other things that we could learn besides the bed part. Um, and it, you know, the the sergeant said that this don't judge the air force. This is not the real air force. This was basic training. You know, and I got to tech school. There was there was I was I was reminded of a decision that I had to make because I was freaking so sick. I got really sick. It was in uh, 2000 and uh, there were ice storms in Texas. There's ice like three quarters of an inch on everything, on every surface, even like branches. So like trees were all freaking breaking and stuff from the weight. And it, was, it was neat to see but it was freaking cold and I'd gotten really sick and I didn't want to get washed back so I didn't go to the doctor because they would have put me on quarters and I would have been washed back in school and I wanted to graduate with my class but I failed the test anyway so I got washed back anyway and uh, I was just like you know and I had to take these like test anxiety courses and all this stuff and I've always had to do those because I freaking hate tests because how I perceive the questions So, the, the, it was recommended that I not judge the Air Force by that because it was tech school and that was not the real Air Force. I was like, alright, so now I'm in the Air Force, but I'm in two places that aren't the Air Force, but I'm in the Air Force, okay. Then I got to Offit, which is, I don't know, according to them, they're a high-profile base, but nobody really cares about Air Force base besides the military people. And, I saw just as much nonsense there, and I just was like, I didn't even have the heart to do more than six years, all the guys in charge, and what they say my way goes, and all that stuff, I never bought into that shit, so I was always around by guys that said that, you know, these guys, I'm like, I used to tell those guys, I hope you don't go home and tell your wives how hard you work, because you're a fucking liar, yeah, I had had to, you know, somebody deemed me overweight, so I had to go, I went to the gym five days a week, 5 a.m., Field house. That was the same building that they <sighs> modified the Noli Gay to fit the bomb they dropped in Hiroshima. Some of the things, you know, sometimes I wonder if I'm supposed to go to places to transmute the wrongdoings of others, you know, bring some goodness to that place that has been brought down too long, downtrodden by darkness. <sighs> I just had a nice, nice, super nice meditate state. I did a nice solid hour. And I, I use guided meditations. My, Michael Seeley today. And, uh, you know, I get why you got to go within. I've always been high anxiety. And anxiety is a frequency like fear and hate and love. Fear and love are kind of close people get those mixed up like love like like when you see on Facebook how you know dogs can smell a good or bad person no it's not they feel your vibration evil has a vibration that's why I don't trust people that don't like dogs it's not that they don't like dogs it's they know that dogs don't like them for who they are you can't fake it unless there's something really wrong wrong with dog but that doesn't happen very often except it you know maybe if it's inbred you know one of those special breeds that people have paid thousands of dollars for 
that live to be six because it's so mutated from your mad science. So you could say you have a toy something? Anyway, yeah, it's a vibration. People could feel it. You can't hide it from it. Well, you know, I, we're animals like them. There's this thing where Addison's disease, I think it's called, and babies get taxed in the womb. Their, their, their mothers get so stressed out that it relies on the fetus as like an extra backup battery. It happened to me when I was a baby. <laughs> Already the same thing happened to him. EK was in dog rescue. His, parent, his, his, his mom's person had gone to jail. So his mom, the, the person, they got separated, and then she came into rescue, and the next day had Artie, and he was the run. He's a little nervous wreck just like me. So it takes a lot to keep pause and still. And when your your body is heightened all the time, and you're always up here, just it doesn't matter if it's post-traumatic stress. It doesn't matter what stress. When you, the more stress you have, the higher it sends your body into a frequency. And when it's up here, it can't heal. Cells can't rejuvenate. Pain can't stop. So that's why I meditate. Try to do an hour a day. And I might be fully conscious, not be able to go down where I'm reminded that we're all connected. That we're all just <laughs> cosmic soup. Dark matter is just DNA. That place, when I don't go there, I get real uncomfortable. I forget what that peace feels like. When I go out in the world, get all twisted up, eh, breathe through things, you know, traffic, rude people, you know, whatever. Prices of thing, all this, you know, whatever it is that's going to trigger you today. You know, people don't bring their energy, in doctrine system, their energetic field, they don't bring it back down where it can be calm and they can hear and f listen. Your body can listen and feel and and that's where the ideas, that's where the ideas come from. That is where people get the greatest ideas. Because we all have the same consciousness. We share it, that cosmic soup. But most people don't strip away the, all the stuff in their physical worlds to get there because it's too hard. Well, it's hard enough to meditate it as is. It took, I mean, it took me, I've always, there's all kinds of ways that you can meditate. I think that we can meditate in just going for a car drive. I love driving. I miss going for road trips, stopping at the convenience store, filling up, buying a bunch of junk food that you don't usually eat, but you're on a road trip today, and that's a special occasion. So, and when you when you meditate, you bring yourself within, and you just, you know, know what it feels like just to feel good. I didn't, I was, it, to find peace, you know how old I was? Mm, I'm not talking about, you know, don't let, don't let, when I say peace and serenity, don't, you know, it ain't, it ain't the same thing as the first time I caught, caught a buzz or, you know, but it, it, it ain't near authentic, it's not near real as authentic as that too. But, I mean, I, I had to practice for years learning how to just calm down from being brought into the world in such a high state, you know. And every time we're stressed out, it adds to it and adds to it. And how do people get rid of their stress? They don't. So now they're reacting, see. Now they're, people are getting triggered and they're just launching off because, you know, they're thinking about this, you know, with this instance happening that this is how their life is going to be forever. But we have the power to change it. We do. It's just hard. It takes effort. Who wants to freaking go around and a lot of, you know, just being okay with yourself? Artie. It's like, when you're a jerk, just say it, you're wrong for it. Like, listen, I was this way. I have, and it had nothing to do with you, and I treated you this way, and I was wrong. See, everybody's DNA is waking up right now. Whatever your bloodline is, it's waking up. Watch that story the other day about the seven fires, around seven, fire four or five it talked about. When the man with the men with the pale face come over, if they, you know, if they reach their hand out in peace, then things are going to go good. Is ways technology and 
every you know people are going to get along and there's going to be cooperation but if he comes over and he has tools of militia militia yeah that too and manipulation you know with the hand extended out but he uses that same hand and draws his sword you know all that stuff well all that karma is coming back around <laughs> I was talking to this kid the other day slow guy I'm like, you know, even like you white guys, you know, you guys are, you guys are paying the price too, having to deal with all this freaking men, 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 men. Ain't all or nothing, anything all bad, you know? There's a lot of good men out there. A lot of guys that are sorry for what their ancestors have done. Like, dude, that's fucking messed up. But they, may, they aren't me and I'm not them and see if we can't make this right people have free will personal choice it's just easier to sell out sell your soul it's easier to just work at a place that you hate for a guy that's an asshole you know because you make a lot of money I freaking hate that you know and then that brings your your endocrine system way up that's how when cancers are called caused and ulcers you know See, we don't need all this medical care shit because there's preventive maintenance that each and every one of us can do to keep our bottom bodies at optimal fitness. When you're optimal, you don't need to go to the doctor. It's a lot cheaper, let me tell you. So, I know that there's a lot of really good, like, medical advances and stuff like that, but, you know, all, all the division, it comes down to this. It's, where does your vibe lie? Where's your point zero? Vibrationally, I want it. I know that there's a world that that exists that everyone can have a warm, dry, and safe place. It's going to get cold. It's only going to get cold. These cold temperatures, it's only going to get more and more cold because whether the poles are flipped or not, things are changing. They always do. Nothing ever changes, stays the same, is even though. There's people that go through a great deal of effort to maintain their world in a nice, safe little bubble. The world is always going to come in. So, things are going to happen sometimes that we're not okay with. So, we got to do things in our, our off hours so we can put tools in our, our toolbox so when things can come up, we can sit back, process, and respond instead of react. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.